I'm Philip Cooper. I'm the structural engineer to the Royal Academy. This is a steel replica at small scale of a huge tower that was projected to be built in Russia in the 1920s, um, designed by Tatlin, famous artist from the constructivist movement. And uh, we built it for an exhibition that was um, to celebrate Russian architecture from the 1920s. And this is the kind of centerpiece, uh, kind of frontispiece of the exhibition. Uh, he designed it as an icon for the new communist administration. Uh, it was going to be the hub of uh, their uh, political government. Well, I was asked to be a structural engineer to do the calculations to see whether our 10 metre version of the Tatlitar could indeed be built. And to my amazement, I found out that had he tried to build this thing 400 metres high, it would have collapsed under its own self weight. So this shows that the tower is indeed a sort of flawed structure. Um, moreover, uh, if you try to load test this kind of model tower, as I thought of it, you'd have to put maybe 150 tons on it, and there's no way in the world that this tower in the Royal Academy would support that kind of weight. Indeed, it would collapse. The reason why it would never stand up is because it had these extremely tall but very skinny columns which would buckle like knitting needles under the weight that they have to carry. At model scale, which this is 10 metres high, the stresses are tiny but at full scale, 400 metres high, those stresses are huge and they would definitely cause the thing to collapse. Artists, I think, have a vision and that's why they are memorable. Engineers, on the other hand, deal with practicalities which are often forgotten and yet engineers too have vision and it's their practical world that often underpins the fabric of our society.